Hi, uh, this is Murugan. Today we will look at how to write a small hello world program in 8086 assembly language. Now, first thing we need an environment to run this program. So, we will actually go to emu8086.com which is an assembly language uh, emulator. So, I can just click on download and uh, download this. So then setting up the environment is pretty easy. You download EMU 86, you have an environment to run the program. There are different kinds of assemblers and link linkers available. I am used to using TASM and T-Link. There is something also called MASM. So we can actually explore uh, different uh, options available to use as a assembler and a linkler. Then again, you, didn't, you need to learn about registers, interrupts, and instructions uh, sets so what you can do is you can go to h row h6 for beginner.com uh, you can first look at what a microcontroller is so the basic components are a mi of a micro uh, controller are a microprocessor a memory and input output system then uh, you need to know what the registers are. Simply registers are places where you can actually store data uh, and it's in the memory to manip for manipulating. Then uh, you can read through it. Again you need to understand what instruction sets are. Instruction sets are nothing but mnemonics uh, like add, subtract, uh, div multiply, divide, uh, multiply increase decrease etc uh, these are uh, these uh, mnemonics have a specific function say add is actually to add two numbers subtract etc is to subtract uh, a number from the other then again you have something called the interrupts interrupts what it does is it actually blocks the execution of the current uh, set of things that the processor is doing and it uh, calls a sub function uh, defined by the interrupt. There are different types of interrupts uh, say uh, print, uh, video interrupt, interrupt 10h, interrupt uh, 21h which is actually the dose interrupt. This example we would actually be using the dose interrupt. So let me uh, start my EMU8086. So I have just uh, opened it and I will be creating a new project. Here I am provided with different templates. I would actually choose between a comp template or an exe template. The difference between a comp template and an exe template is com has all segments within a single segment. I mean, or to tell, COM has only one segment, whereas an EXE template creates an EXE file which has different uh, segments. That is actually, it has a data segment to store data. It can have multiple data segments. Then there are, there are code segments defined by CS to, uh, define, uh, to store the code. So I will use a comp template which is actually simple. It, it just contains uh, uh, data and code into a single segment. So I'll just use com. Really don't bother about what uh, these segments are. So let's uh, write the first simplest program. So this is actually the simplest program that you can write. Uh, it does nothing but return control back to the operating system. I will run this. I can go step by step. I can see the value has changed after this step has been moved. AX is actually this one. Or I can just click on run that uh, runs the program. And you can see that it has returned the control back to the calling program. I'll just run this again. I'll click on run and it has returned the control back to the operating system. So 
let us look at deeper into what uh, how this actually works now the basic thing in any uh, assembly language or any program is it has to return once the functionality of that is done say if you are adding two numbers once it is done you have to return the control back to the operating system so this piece of code is something that you have to write in every assembly language program okay so let's let's see it uh, exit the program this is what we are writing so here you have we can tell that h is 4ch al comma zero interrupt the next step that we have to do is we have to display a string now let's look at the different functionality of 0 1 is read character 0 5 is write char character to printer 7 and this is one write string to standard output which is actually the monitor move h comma 0 1 and interrupt is 21 h so let's uh, write that right here move h comma 0 9 h just because i have a h function call is 0 9 write string to std8 okay intra 21 h so this actually writes a string to the standard output which is a monitor but i do have to specify the string that needs to be written so this is what you do you actually uh, scroll down function 5 function 9 okay so this is actually the inputs that we have to give h is 0 9 the other input that i have to give is ds dx points to a character string ending with a dollar so let me just copy this um, so this is what i need to do uh, this is the colon is actually for comments and uh, i have told you earlier we can ignore this data segment because in a com program uh, everything is in a single segment so we have to just pass uh, make ds dx pointing to a character string so move dx comma hello world and it's mentioned that it has to the string has to end with the dollar okay dollar is actually the termination character but uh, if i run this you can see that it throws an error mm -hmm. because you need to point dx to an address location not a string so what we need to do is we need to create a memory location to store the string so this is how you do it you define a message db is actually data bit dw is data word okay you can actually visit h086 for beginner and you can learn uh, more from it and you need to point dx to message so how do how we do it is you offset of message so basically this is the simplest uh, program that you can write uh, this is uh, the simplest program that you can write what it does is uh, it uh, runs it displays a displays a string so i'll just click on this i'll run this I'll just click on run anyway the here the error is i have written the code after termination so what i need to do is i need to copy this i need to uh, write the code right about let's copy this also and i will actually run the emulator see hello world why was earlier this message not being displayed just because we have been calling this before uh, this one which this terminates the program so there is no scope of this being executed so again uh, this is the simplest program that you can write in 8086 assembly language which is actually to uh, display a string 
I would actually uh, suggest you to visit uh, 8086 for beginner.com. There are a lot of samples co codes available. The display string code is also available there. And uh, and visit us and uh, if you are interested, uh, you can join our Facebook groups. As you can see, there are a lot of people there who can who are willing to help you. Uh, here we have somebody who who posted a question regarding uh, he he has a program that uh, draws an, draws a line and what we have done is we have helped him to draw a line from low uh, drawing a different angle. So that is actually from any location to any location. Uh, his was only a horizontal line and we have modified the program to draw it from any line. So if you have any questions, you can just uh, join the group and you can just post a question and uh, we'll definitely help you out, uh, help you learn assembly language and we, we will help you help you write uh, programs in assembly language. So if you have any questions, uh, please uh, feel to send me a mail or you can uh, post a question in the groups. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.